Hello and welcome to another review. In this video, we're going to be reviewing April O'Neil from Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles. This is another figure by Super 7. And um, just like with the Slash figure, there's graffiti on the box. But this one has the turtle symbol on it, meaning, meaning ally, to the nin ally to the Ninja Turtles. And that's what April is. It says here, April's a determined TV news journalist, always prepared for the late, <clears throat> the late breaking news feature with her camcorder strapped round her arm. Her eagerness can get her into a heap of trouble, but it's nothing she or the turtles can't handle. A April's no airhead as valuable member of Team Turtles. Good. Being a human has advantages. After all, like getting into places the turtles can't. When the situation calls for more than a news flash, April's ready with a trusty gun, which is secretly locked inside her camcorder. That's a good way that's a good way of keeping Well, that's a good way to conceal and carry. But you know, all jokes aside, let's get her open. All right, April is out of the box. She looks like a good figure. Yeah, she's definitely definitely a taller figure. She's curvier, as you can see. Here's her side, which which has a blue streak. She has it on both sides. The banana rain raincoat looks good. On the back, turtles. Yep. The articulation is somewhat tight in the arms and and forearms. There's no swivel in the biceps. There's articulation in the shoulders and the hands. As well as the head. Her um, legs don't seem to move all the way forward. And, and at least her knees move. And oh, oh, her feet. They move. Okay. Gotta be, gotta be careful with this. Yeah. Now, this isn't SH Figure Arts at all. Hmm. I think the legs just only move back and forth. I don't know if they move outwards. I don't, I'm not even going to try it or risk it. And, um. At least she's standing up by herself. For how long, I, I have no clue. Anyway. She comes with uh, an assortment of accessories, like this uh, briefcase, I guess. Um, she also has interchangeable hands, as you can see here. Open hands uh, and a hand for uh, her weapon and to hold um, her other news equipment. And um, she comes with a flashlight. Oh, geez. And a microphone. Uh, just a heads up, everybody. Um, she comes with a um, turtle communicator. But, and there's also a closed version of this. And make sure you don't lose these, because these are, these are very small. Uh, you do not want to lose these. Keep them close. Keep them where you can find them. And uh, she also comes with a Channel 6 news press, press pass and two interchangeable 
heads. One where she has her head set, and one where where she's just smiling, I guess. And she also comes with a, a, a news camera. And this stuff right here, I think, is just some extras. You know, I've, I think I've heard some people complain uh, that April has different, April, one of April's heads has a, a different, a different a color shade uh, compared to the um, switchable heads. And I think I have it right, I think I have something right here, the microphone, her microphone and her gun actually fell around here. Yeah, here they are. But yeah, uh, April looks pretty cool, despite despite um people's complaints about the whole, the hair thing. And I wonder if her yeah, her head does come off. And here is. April with her hands her hands are switched out and she is reporting the news yeah this, yeah you know this is good she's um looks like she's ready to interview somebody well she can definitely interview interview me anytime as extra I don't know if the turtle communicator will fit in her hand. That fell out. Um, I'll just save that for another time. But I'm really, I'm really loving this. I never had April and Neil as a kid. Back then, my focus on only just four turtles, maybe Shredder, maybe maybe Bebop, Bebop Rocksteady, maybe some extras, but. But April is actually a cool, a cool, cool addition to this. <clears throat> and just for the record, I picked her up at C2E2 earlier this year for $45. I think, I think it was a good price. I haven't encountered any of the four Super Salmon Turtles at any conventions yet, but eventually I will. Or I'll just get them from Amazon if I feel like it. But then again, I have t I have turtle figures here, and so I think I'm pretty much satisfied with that. And I think my only only um concern with it, only like complaint about this is that this camera is not at her length. It, it's just a uh, it's just a uh, Plastic, plastic, no, no extension, extent, ext no ex extendability, uh, no, uh, nothing. So basically, um, uh, since this isn't, doesn't really reach her, um, reach her height, this, this April O'Neil is basically a giantess. She's a giant, she's a, she's a giantess. And I think that's actually... That's actually pretty cool. But you know what? I never had... I, I, I wanted the NECA April... The latest NECA April O'Neil, but I, I could not find that one. The scalpers always find a way. The scalpers always find a way, man. That's, got, that's, that's frustrating. Something's got to be done about that. But yeah, um, let me just see if she's gonna like interview 
Bardock. Huh. Look at this. April's actually taller than him. Wow. <laughs> oh, man. There's one more head to put on. The headset looks good on her. I don't know if she's if she's trying to record record a story or what. I don't know how these. Uh, I know it's. I mean, I know it's a head a headset with a microphone. So maybe she's recording something. I don't know. Another complaint I have about this figure is that I can't get the arm to. I can't get the arm and the the hand to go all the way up. So she's like. So she's like touching uh one of, one of the um one side of the head one side of the headset and if she if she's not she's just not touching that and the hand the arm can't get up there. So that's that's another that's another downside about this figure. I mean that's just that's just two flaws I mentioned two flaws I mentioned, but you know what? April is April. And even though she doesn't have she doesn't have uh, ninja skills like the turtles, at least she does have a way to defend herself. Oh look, she's got she got her, she got her flashlight in her hand. Nice. So yeah, this is uh the gun she carries. I can't fit the finger on the trigger. I also I also want to say don't play with guns. Guns are a very serious issue, but that aside I found I found something out about this figure. Look. Look at this. The paint is chipping off on the inside. And I'm actually hoping that no one notices this. And some of the paint, some of the paint rubbed, rubbed on her neck. I mean, no figure is perfect. And this one does have obvious flaws. So I can kind of understand why some people had complaints about, about some people had complaints about her. But I just look at it as a figure that I never had in my collection as a kid. So I say I, I just welcome April O'Neil with open arms. I'm gonna I'm just gonna give a this April O'Neil figure an eight out of ten. I think you should have her in your collection. I mean the reason the only reason I got her is part of it was because one, I could I couldn't find the NECA April O'Neil, and two this was a matter of ex accessibility, so I just went th with, went down the route of accessibility, and and bought her. That's just how it goes. But anyway, uh, thank you for watching. Uh, I want to know your thoughts in the comments below, and take care. Take care. And as always, I will see you all on the con floor. Bye. And lastly, be be very careful with this figure. Don't lose any small parts. And I uh, also want to point out that the pegs for these hands are very thin. So watch how you put them in the wrists. Watch how you, watch how you switch them out. All right.